let's do this practice problem that I made. This is actually a practice problem I made for electric potential and if you looked at my previous videos you may have seen that this is like a problem I did for electric fields and it's actually the same situation so I have a 1 nanocoulomb charge and a 5 nanocoulomb charge separated by a distance of 0.3 meters and then I want to find not the electric field but the electric potential right here and this distance is <clears throat> 0.7 meters so I've already made a video uh, showing that the electric potential due to a single point charge and when we talk about potential I write it like this V equals KQ over R this is actually delta V, v from uh, V R minus V infinity so it's with respect to infinity and so V at infinity is zero so we, we just write this as the potential at R. And I, and I want to point that out because it is important. Potential really deals with potential energy, which deals with the change in position. Okay. So we as physicists um, kind of are lazy with that, just so you know. But this is the potential due to a single point charge. If I have two point charges, the potential is just the sum of the potential. So V total is going to be V1 plus V2. So I need to find the potential due to that point charge right here and the potential due to that point charge right there and add them together. Now you'll notice here also that I have this is all scalar stuff. These are scalars. Okay, we, Potential is a scalar quantity so we don't need to do uh, vectors. If you're given the vector position you need to find the magnitude of the distance between those and that's fine. So I can write this as K, Q, this is one, that is one, Q1 over R1 plus K Q2 over R2. So that's not so bad, right? Because I know R1, R1 is this distance, so that's going to be 0.7 meters. R2 is this distance, that's going to be 0.4 meters, right? Because that's 0.7, that's 0.3, so this would be 0.4 meters. Uh, K is the constant, 9 times 10 to the 9th newtons meter squared per coulomb squared and then q1 is 1 times 10 to the negative ninth let's write that up here q1 is 1 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs q2 is 5 times 10 to the negative ninth coulombs so let's just put this all together i, I did this on a normally used the paper the other way okay so i get v equals 9 times 10 to the ninth times Q1, which is 1 times 10 to the negative ninth, over R1, which is 0.7, plus 5 times 10 to the negative ninth, over 0.4. Now, here, I can factor out a 10 to the negative ninth, and they cancel with that, so I actually get, I make it a little bit easier, I get 9, and then I get 1 over 0.7, plus 5 over 0.4. Okay, now I'm going to, I usually would put this in my calculator, but I'm going to use this. I don't know why. Um, this is a older HP 12C. Uh, it does have RPN notation, so that's a little bit different. Um, and I haven't used it in a while, so let's just see if I, if I can do this. Uh, so I'm going to first calculate this. Uh, 1, enter, 0.7, oops, clear. So I get 1 enter and then I have 0.7 divided by and then I need to do this one it's going to be 5 enter 0.4 divided by now I have that first number still in the stack okay this has like a stack of numbers up here and so you always enter the two operands and then the operator that's how this works so I have those two numbers and I just need to add them together so if I just push plus it adds them together there you go. Now I need to multiply that by 9, so I'm going to say 9 times. And I think this is the right answer. 125.4 volts. See, you like my calculator? It even has a little, a little slip here. See? Cool, huh? Okay. Clear. I'll turn it off. Okay. So that's that. Okay, I'll do another problem in another video.